I'm calling him Dijon Mustard because everywhere that I see his name, it's misspelled, and I find that kind of funny. <laughs> and after a week of harassment, like, I might as well, like, just let me have, like, a little giggle, okay? And that's, that's going to be my little giggle for the week, all right? I'm just, I'm calling him Dijon Mustard. So, I'm going to be talking about the Dijon Mustard incident here once and for all because there's something really important that I want to talk about at the end. And because I want to close this chapter once and for all, move on afterwards without feeling like there was anything that I left unsaid. I, on God, I should not be looking at the chat right now because someone just said, that's kind of hypocritical. I'm sorry. After you get told to like kill yourself that you're a slut, a whore, L ratio, spam, blah, blah. I think I can make a mustard joke. Can I? Is that? Do you think that maybe like is that fair? Just a question. Like, is it okay for me to say mustard? Is that too far? Is mustard too far for me? Talking about me sexually on stream and harassing me on every single platform that you own, that's cool. But me saying mustard is hypocritical. Anyways, moving on. Oh my god, I really, I can't look at chat because I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm going to talk about it all. I think it's important. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> okay, I also feel it's important to talk about all of this. Because harassment like this is nothing new. It's been a constant problem for women in gaming for so long. And for future female streamers, they will likely also get this kind of treatment if we don't very clearly denounce these sorts of actions and this sort of behavior. So let me just start off by going through everything, giving full context of what occurred. This is all well documented in many corners of the internet. So if you really want full details, you want screenshots, you want clips, you can go get that. Dijon Mustard is currently banned on Twitch, so I'm not going to be showing him because I... I mean, for context, you'd probably be allowed to, but I won't be and I don't really care to. Also, keep in mind, here's just... Here's a little taste of what I've been dealing with for the last few days. Like this... These are what Dijon Mustard fans look like, okay? Let me show you. This. This is what... This is what Dijon Mustard fans look like. This is the type of shit that they are still sending my subs to this day. Someone posted this in my, in my chat right before I went live. Like, they are still at it. Which, on one hand, I'm not really surprised because he told them to be. But on the other hand, it's like... Don't you have homework to finish or something? Anywho, this is the type of shit I've been getting for like the last five, five days? Five days, something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I have so many scenes. Uh, let me try to mute the alerts so that those don't get in the way. So yeah, uh, I'm still being harassed, my viewers still are. Um, but before we really get into everything, I just want to give like a quick timeline of events of what happened. So before Dijon Mustard hate rated me, he had already made YouTube videos about me. He was already harassing me on Twitter, saying rude stuff on Twitter since like January 4th. And then on January 12th, it was his first partnered streamer on, uh, partnered stream on Twitch. I was playing Valorant late at night with my friends minding my business, having fun. When he told his viewers to go into my stream and spam L plus ratio plus you fell off plus many other things. I was in the middle of a game, so I was just like, uh, are we getting botted? Like, what's going on? And then my mods told me what was happening and we tried follower only mode. But even he was surprised to see that so many of his fans or viewers had been following me for a very long time. So then we did sub mode and then they started subscribing to keep harassing me until eventually we had to do emote only mode to avoid the spam. 
But at that point, I was hearing from my mods that I was hearing from my mods that my subs and like the names that were popping up, I think because Dijon on his stream was like opening their profiles, his viewers were also whispering harassment to my viewers. So at that point, oh, mind you, he even told his followers to follow me so that they can spam later when like the follow counter is up or whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, so at that point, I'm like, I can emote only and like it's cool, whatever. But I don't want my stream to be like a vessel to be hating on other people and harassing other people. So I just turned my stream off completely. It's like, I don't, you know. <clears throat> also, when it was, uh, when it was in sub only mode, my sub started talking about who he is and what he was telling his chat to do. And Dijon was watching my stream at that time. And he got mad at my subs for snitching, aka telling me what he's doing. And he started talking about how she's not going to fuck you, bro, which is so cringe because so many of my subs are girls or minors. And while watching my stream and my chat, he started opening profiles of people, of my subs, and then he addressed the stream. Hey, if you're from Pokey Stream and you have a penis, she's not gonna fuck you. She has a man. Spoiler, I. Bleh, bleh. Spoiler alert. She's getting dicked down every night by another. By who? Me, me, bro. I live alone. Leave me alone. Anyways, he repeated this over and over again, adding extra detail. And it's just disgusting. Like, I feel weird even saying those words. I am not like an openly sexual person. I don't talk about that stuff. And the idea of someone else on their stream talking about it in such an aggressive and inappropriate manner in front of his thousands of young male viewers makes me feel like inexpressibly uncomfortable. It's weird enough if guys talk sexually about a girl behind her back, but then to do it like in front of an audience and I can later see it and it's ingrained on the internet forever. I don't know. I just don't think stuff like that should be allowed. <sighs> Sorry. So anyways, because as I said, he had opened profiles of my subs, people started whispering them and harassing them in whispers. So yeah, I turned off my stream completely. And during this stream of his, he also told his viewers to keep harassing me if he gets banned. Then he does get banned. He gets a 14 day suspension. And I privated my Twitter because been there, done that. I already knew so many of his fans would be trying to respond to every tweet that I made, harassing my every move if I didn't. So he then changed his Twitter profile picture to a photo of me without makeup to further harass me. He tweeted a bunch of things relating to me, never apologized, and further antagonized me by live streaming himself on Instagram, watching my stream every time I streamed or spoke about the situation. At this point of like recounting everything, I just want to clarify, I did not ban Dijon. If he did the exact same stuff to any other streamer, he would still be banned. Twitch would have banned him regardless because it's against the terms of service to do any sort of hate rating or to harass people. There seems to be a fair bit of people. I don't know if you guys just don't understand how Twitch works, but it's not in my power who gets banned or not. Like, I don't decide. So I wanted to clarify that it doesn't matter who he hate rated, it would have resulted in a ban. And yes, Twitch does consider your actions off of the platform and whether that's also against their terms of service. So everything he did on Twitter and Instagram likely did not help. So that is the full timeline of events. It's literally all that happened. I was just sitting at home playing Valorant. Dijon Mustard is now permanently banned. I've been getting thousands of hateful messages across all my platforms for the past few days due to this. It's obviously been very stressful and exhausting, but I'm glad. 
I want to say it's finally over and dealt with, but uh, like it's getting there. At least to me, after today, I will be closing this chapter. Whew, whew.